Squarespace is one of the easiest and more powerful website builders for beginners on the market today. Squarespace allows complete beginners to create stunning and professional websites without needing any website building experience. Hey guys, welcome back. And if you're new to this channel, my name's Stuart. Thanks for joining me today. In this Squarespace tutorial for beginners, I'm going to walk you through step by step how to create a professional website in 10 minutes using Squarespace. Today, I will show you how to set up Squarespace and then pick and customize a pre-made website template. Following this, we will launch your professional website up online. Now, just quickly before we dive into the Squarespace tutorial, and if you're new to this channel, consider subscribing to stay updated with weekly actionable videos and tutorials designed to help your small business thrive online. And with that said, let's create your stunning website using Squarespace. All right, so the first thing we need to do to get started and build our professional website with Squarespace is to head over to squarespace.com and then all we need to do is navigate down to get started. Now with Squarespace, you get started on a 14 day free trial and then you can upgrade after that or you can upgrade during that period when you're ready to go live, when you're ready to launch your website online. Now, one of the best things about Squarespace is you have the option to build from a pre-made template. So you can navigate through all these different categories and all these different pre-made website templates and choose one that best resonates with your business, your website, and the one you like the look of the most. So have a browse through all these different categories and then come down and navigate through all the different pre-made website templates. Now, you can also hover over the pre-made website template and you can preview what the website will look like. So if I click preview, I can have a proper look at this template and see how it looks. Now remember with these templates, you can customize them the way that you like. So if there's certain sections or buttons or the style of text or colors that you don't quite like, you can customize all these different sections. Now you can also navigate up here and see what this website will look on tablet as well as mobile. So navigate through all the different pages and decide on the template that will best work for you. So I'm gonna head back and select this template here and start building and customizing our website using this template. So just select the pre-made template that you wanna get started with. Now here you just want to quickly create your account. So for us, we're going to continue with Google and then select our Gmail account. And here all you need to do is name your website and then come down here and click continue. Now we're going to skip through this because we're actually going to cover all these different elements in this tutorial. So click get started. And there we have it, we have just completed the initial setup. And here we are on our website dashboard. And this is where we can get into the fun stuff. Now, as you can see, we have our website template in front of us for us to start designing and customizing the way that we like. So to do that, what we're gonna do is discuss pages, which is where we can start editing and customizing each page, all the sections, the elements, the blocks, and we'll dive into this shortly. Then we're gonna talk about design, and this is where we can customize the design, the style, and theme of our website. Now, following this, we're gonna talk about the pricing options, and then how you can connect your domain and make your professional website live to the public. And then after this, we're gonna quickly discuss how to set up your business emails. Okay, now first things first, let's start customizing our website pages. So to do that, just click on Pages, and here under main navigation, you can see some of these demo pages. And then we've got the home page as you can see in front of us. That's highlighted because it's already selected. Now these elements over here, you can see in our main navigation, our menu navigation up here. We can change any of these elements. We can change the page to whatever we like, or we can delete them over here. So for example, if I wanted to get rid of episodes, I can click this bin icon here and then come down here and click confirm. And as you can see, I now only have three elements. Now, if you wanna create another page and an element on your main navigation, your main menu, then come over here and click the plus and then click blank page, or you can click page layouts, which are pre-made page layouts that have already been professionally designed and you can customize the layouts the way that you like. So for us, we're gonna click blank page and name this page book now and click enter. And as you can see, we have a new page that we can edit and customize the way that we like. But for now, we're gonna head back over to the home page 
and show you how to customize this particular page, which is the home page, because then you'll have an understanding of how you can modify and customize every other page on your website. So all we need to do to edit this page is double click. And now we can simply start customizing our home page. And this process is exactly the same for any other page that you want to customize. Now, before we start customizing, it's important to understand how the website builder works. So with Squarespace, they have sections, blocks, and elements. So if we come down here, you can see that this is a section and then in here we have blocks. So to simply add a new section, all we need to do is click this plus sign here. And here you can select a professional section that you want to edit. And you can come down here and look at all the different options available. You've got lists, gallery, images, quote, text, and video. Or you can add a blank section and customize it. But Squarespace makes it extremely simple because you can just select a pre-made section. So if we head over to lists, here we can see some of the pre-made lists that we can choose and start editing. So I like the look of this. So I'm going to select this section. And as you can see, the section we just added has been slotted in. And then we have these blocks here. Now you can simply customize this block by coming up here and clicking this pencil icon. And then you can simply change this image here. You can come over to design and you can change the way the design looks. I like the look of this. And then you can add an animation. So I can come down here and click fade up. And as you can see, it will fade up when someone loads this page. Then I can come down here and click apply. Now, if I want to edit this text, all I need to do is double click here and I can start editing this text here. Very straightforward and easy to customize. Then you have other basic options up here for your fonts and your text. Now, if we come back to the top, again, it's exactly the same. We can just start customizing this text the way that we like. We could delete that. We could change the style of the text. And then down here, we actually have an element, which is a button. And we can simply edit this by clicking the pencil icon again, and then making changes here. We can change the name or the call to action, so book now, and then you can add a link down here. So you can link that to a specific page. So I could link this to book now, which will take people to this page up here. And you can also change the size of the button. And then you can come down here and click apply. So very straightforward and easy to build and customize each page. So again, you can come down here and add a new section, you can choose the type of section that you like. You also have elements down here. So for example, you could put an appointment form, contact, a donation form, other forms, newsletters, products, if you're selling products online. And then we have more elements down here, like a calendar, chart, FAQs, location, and more. Now, if we come up here and click close, one of the great things about Squarespace is if you start customizing each page, you can't really make your website ugly. Squarespace is very structured, so although you can customize the way the website looks, the way that each page looks, it's still quite structured. So you can't just put the button in a random spot. For example, I couldn't just put this button up in the left-hand corner because it won't allow me. So I can't just drag it and put it up here. It will either go above this element down here or I can put it under the element. And it's essentially impossible to create an ugly website. And there we have it. It's very straightforward and easy to customize the way that each website page looks. Now, once you're happy with your website page, all you need to do is come up here and click save. And then just navigate down to another page that you want to start customizing. Or you can click add a new page and customize that new page. Now what we'll do is we'll head back to our home and now we want to discuss design. Now if we click on design, here is where we can customize the design, the feel and the theme of our website, so the entire website. So if we make changes to the fonts, colors, the animations or the spacing on our website as well as buttons and other options, this will customize the entire layout of our website. So not just a single page, but the entire structure, theme and layout of our website. So for example, you can click on fonts and this is where you can select the type of font that you want for your entire website. Now you can also choose mixed, which will give you mixed options for different fonts throughout your website. Then if we navigate back and click on colors, this is where we can change the overall color of our website. So we can choose our color palette here. We can select edit 
and we can select already pre-made color themes and palettes for our website. Then we can select up here and we can choose colors from an image or we can create custom colors. So very straightforward to select the overall color and style and theme of your website. So if we click back to design and then we can come down here and change our animation. So basically when someone loads your website, how do your elements appear on the page? Do they fade up? Do they come across the screen from the left or the right? You can choose your animations here. Then we have spacing and this is where you can change the overall spacing of elements on your website. Then the other important thing we want to talk about is buttons. This is where you can customize the shape of your button. So very basic options here to change the overall style and theme of your website. So that's your design and theme and how you can customize your entire website rather than just single pages. So now that we've showed you how to create customizations to your website template and change the design and theme of your website, what we can do is head back to home and now we're ready to launch. So when you're ready to activate your website, you've changed your layout, you've added all your content to each page, and you've changed the design of your overall website, then come down here and click subscribe. And this is how we can go live. And before we go live, we need to select a paid plan. Now the most popular plan is this business plan over here. The great thing is, is you get a free custom domain. Same with personal, but I recommend going for the business plan as it has more features that are valuable for small businesses. So once you've selected this plan, add all your information then head back over to your dashboard. And now that we've chosen a plan, all you need to do is head down to settings and then come over to site availability and then click publish. So you'll just see publish here or you can upgrade to publish again once you've upgraded and people will be able to search your business, your website up online. Now with the paid plan, you also get a free domain like I mentioned earlier. So to connect a domain, all you need to do is click settings, come down to domains and click use a domain I own if you've already bought a domain name or you can click get a domain if you haven't bought one already. Now you should see this option down here and you should have a new domain if you've already selected a domain. So for now you'll be using this branded domain until you have a real domain. So I recommend you purchase a real domain, just click get a domain and then type in your domain here. So for example, this site is called Stuart Gould. So I could select this one here. However, it's already taken because I've already bought this domain. So I could transfer this domain over or I could come down here and select any of these domains and I'll get that for free with the paid plan of Squarespace. So type in your ideal domain and then simply add that domain name to your website. And that is essentially the URL that people will type in to head over to your website. Now, the last thing we want to quickly talk about is emails. So click domains and click settings and then come down to email and G Suite. And here, once you've connected a domain name and you've upgraded to a paid plan, you'll have access to your own email. Now, if you want to create a free email with your Gmail account, so if you've got a free Gmail account, what I'll do is I'll link a video tutorial above, which will show you how you can actually create your own branded business email without paying anything except for your domain name. However, if you want to go for a proper email provider, then I recommend G Suite. And we've also created a tutorial, which I'll link up above, which will guide you through how to make the most out of G Suite and how to set up your G Suite account with Google. Both of these tutorials are for beginners. So check them both out and they will help you get started with a free branded Gmail account or a G Suite account. And then you can connect your new business email to Squarespace. And that is essentially all there is to it for getting started with Squarespace in 2020. And there we have it. That is it for this Squarespace tutorial for beginners. I hope that was easy to follow and you now have the confidence to build your own professional website using Squarespace. Now, if you have any questions, make sure to pop them down below. And with that said, thank you so much for watching this video through to the end. If you got value from this video, you enjoyed it, then please leave a like below the video. And if you haven't done so already, make sure to subscribe. And that way I will see you in the next video. Take care guys.